But we're going to do the play either way. Just to see that cool animation. He did lower his damage. But let's see. <sighs> that is lit. That is very lit. Alright, Gotha, show him what you got. Here we go. Boosh. Oh my god, I like the little pointing up in the air. That's actually a cool animation. All right, boys. So this was like a highly requested unit to use in PvP. Well, not really highly requested. It's just this one person who's just spamming to use Village Gother like a million times. And Village and Village Gother or Gother in general is just a baddie. That's what we got in, in this outfit, looking sexy as always. But um, Gother is pretty much a a broke man's little CL. He can decrease the defense rate stats by 15%. Um, but that's pretty good. His kit card is pretty bad. Um, this also his ultimate move decreased skill ranks is a single attack. It hits pretty hard, um, but this card is pretty trash and outdated. Um, you can decrease the ultimate move damage on bronze and silver 40, 20, and then on gold. This is where it gets really good, where you can decrease all the way to 50%, and also disable the ultimate move effect, which is good as well. So we're gonna be using this guy on the unknown team featuring Merlin, Goddess Lisbit, and um. Freaking ROM in the back. I use I use Goddess a little bit just because you know a lot of units in PvP they really benefit off of getting hit hitting you with crits and Goddess a little bit shield is the only thing that can stop crits in PvP right now. Okay, so we have a Perk's Late Bond team versus Lil Gother. Um, I don't know how to feel about this. I'm sad. Um, not like he's on attack. So I'm probably just gonna waste this card. Yeah, I might as well just waste this card and then attack the one Escanor. This is not perfect. Like Bonte is usually on attack anyway, so might as well. Remember, we load his, his defense related stats, and you don't you don't crit on the power strike, but you crit on the AOE. That's lame. Um, this is gonna be part where we throw up our shield. The only bad part, yeah, if he does that, I would say I won't be able to um. Put apply ignite. Oh my god, wait, he doesn't buff up. He actually attacks. Yo, a bond team that attacks. What is this? Yo, this dude is like he just broke the mold right now. Just when do purgatory bond teams attack? What the they never attack. This is a this is an anomaly. Oh my god, I can't speak. <laughs> oh my god, I can't even say the word anomaly. There we go. Yeah. Took a while, took a while. They, Cause they never attack. I'm not going to cat with you guys. They never attack. Never. In life. Um, is he gonna first revive? He does. This is crazy right now. This guy can't be real. This can't be a real purgatory bond team. They don't attack, boys. Literally. Like, I'm not even joking right now. They literally don't attack. Um, if I, if I just go for my ultimate, he's gonna be done for. So I'm just gonna do that because he can't tank all of this. I mean, his defense really starts to decrease by 15 percent, which is good. People always want me to okay, I crit right there. I want to say this guy was actually weird, man. What since when do Perkins like bond teams attack? Come on now. That's that, that's insane. Um, if he merges cards with Bond, oh, he just forfeits. GG. Okay, so we have is that SR Meliodas? This is like a stance team with immunity. It gotta be right. Yeah, it is. Um, that's fun. That's some fun stuff. Could he be a void food? He could be right. Um, let's see his stats. Um, it's pretty nutty right now. He's using Sario as well. So I need to get rid of Estros as soon as possible. I probably should start off with my Power Strike card first. Yeah, I should start off with my Power Strike card first. Just because my size is going to get um, lowered either way. Um, I don't know what I can do with Gother at this point. Oh yeah, Gotha got hit with the, um, the freaking Ignites. He goes for his stance, so he makes sure he gets immunity. Unless he has a unit that can heal him up. I don't see what he's going to be able to do. 
Um, I'll probably do something like this. Actually, yeah. I'm probably going to do something like this. Where I just push from ultimate, don't know. And then go for my shield. This should pressure him to um take away my gauge with um Tarmiel. Which leaves himself open for attack cards on S Rosa. Which is nice for me. Yep. So now S Rosa is open for attacks. Dude, it's a green versus a <laughs> blue. I mean, yeah, like, you're not gonna kill me off that easy. And now we're gonna have a chance to kill off his um, S Rosa now. And this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna potentially take away his gauge effect. Actually, no, I should think, I think I should probably just do something like this then. And probably go for a stun. But it all depends on if I'm able to kill. Actually, we should go for it. We should go for it. Go for that and then do this on Tarmio. We're gonna go for it, boys. Usually I wouldn't risk his play because I feel like Tarmio still will be able to nuke us. But we're gonna do the play either way. Just to see that cool animation. So what is the likelihood that Tarmio will still be able to nuke us? We lowered his um damage by 50%. And um I got rid of his ultimate move effect. But I think it only takes away his healing factor. Doesn't really take away the fact that it can do damage based on defense. He doesn't get the immunity. He did lower his damage. But let's see. <sighs> that is lit. That is very lit. Now he thinks he's gonna he can survive all this damage. Which is why we're gonna do this to him. Alright, boys, here you go. Here we go, Gother. Yeah, I just did some damage to you real quick. Just so I can go for the stun. All right, Gotha, show him what you got. Here we go. Boosh. Oh my god, I like the little pointing up in the air. That's actually a cool animation. Like all the SR units always have like the coolest animation possible, boys. They always have cool animations. I love it. I think he's gonna attack me to try to force revive, but it's not gonna work. Oh, he actually does work. <laughs> I forgot Gilt on his buffed as well. <laughs> I forgot all about that. Yeah, Gilt on his buffed as well. So, yeah, you got to expect that damage on him also. Um, I guess I can probably just do something like this. And do that. Because what else can he do against me? He's still going to take a lot of damage. And he's gone. See ya. Now we still have Merlin, and she's using life still set, so I was able to get more of my HP back. It's actually really good to have a life still on Merlin, just because of this um, setup where I have his defense related stats decrease. But GG, boys. Goodbye. Oh, what, was, what do you say? Bye bye. Okay, so what we have here? A uh, Ellie Hawk. Oh my god, is that a black cat hawk? Okay, wait, what? That is actually a lit outfit. What the heck? Black Hawk? A black cat hawk? Dude, this is a bot match too. His outfit is pretty cool. Um, I don't know. Let's just do this then. Yo, that was actually a cool outfit. Yo, does that exist? I swear I've never seen that hawk outfit before. Yo, that's actually a pretty cool outfit. I've never seen that before. <laughs> that's actually nice. I can't even lie. It's actually a nice outfit. Gonna go for a cleanse right here. Oh, no. It just goes. Yeah, that looks so good. Yo, is that actually an outfit? No. that. Yo, that's crazy. Like, I'm over just mes mesmerized by the outfit. <laughs> I'm gonna be playing PvP. Um, this is a bot match anyways, but we just gonna play it out since he had that amazing um Hawk outfit. Yeah, we was able to crit because of Gother. And now we nuke whoever. I probably just keep this match in. I usually just um take all the bot matches out of it. But since he had that, that Hawk outfit, I gotta keep it in. I need to know how they got that outfit. <laughs> I need to know now. Yeah, Twiggo. Okay. 
That makes sense, because Ellie Hawk can boost HP as well. So I'll just do this one like this then. And do that. Pretty cool outfit. Pretty cool outfit. It should get rid of Twiggo right here. Since he can't take that much damage. Oh, I got rid of Bawn first? Wait, what? This must be a no-geared Bawn. Hey, how Twiggo survive? Alright, let's see what happens then. Yeah, actually, never mind. I'm just going to the next match. <laughs> I'll probably skip over this. Okay, we got... Oh, my God. Everyone just got cool Ellie Hawk outfits, man. Everyone just got a, got her. That's actually nice. Um, I probably should go for my shield. I'm probably going to do something like this. And hope that I crit. And go for my shield right here. Because then I could just push for my ultimate afterwards. Hopefully I crit. Alright, I did some serious damage. So, I need another Power Strike card from Merlin. And that'll be GG. Because then I can just ult him. And I do get another Power Strike card alongside of another shield. Which would be very, very clutch for us. Because now he has to merge cards together or rank up. To either Ellie Hawk or a Perks Bond. If he goes for the resistance, he's going to get hit hard with Power Strike cards now. If he does do that. And I think he knows that. <laughs> I think he does know that. See, look, watch this. Because he has resistance on him, he takes more damage from the Power Strike card. So every Power Strike card I get now, he's going to take a lot more damage. See, look, watch this. Bow. Oh, my God, 140. <laughs> if I only got crit. If I, when I got a crit, you would probably saw that, that good damage. But I didn't crit, boys. And I just throw my shield again. But yeah, he takes more damage when you get hit with the Power Strike card. Just because now he has resistance. Because Power Strike, Power Strike is based on resistance, so. Um, what I should do is probably go for maybe Gother. I don't know if he's going to use the Silver card that's in his hand. Oh, he's using all of it, right? I look like he's using all of it. <laughs> now that I'm looking at it. Oh my god, he, he actually is using all of it. And I don't have no stun. Is that another attack card? Oh man, it is. That's unfortunate. Um, is he six out of six? He is six out of six. So I might have to reduce some of his damage, maybe. Maybe that works out for me. Um, and then we power strike his um Gotha right here. I guess I'll have to do something like that. I literally have nothing. I swear, if I was able to kill off Bond, I'm be so upset right now. Oh my god, I was able to kill off Bond too. I just knew I was going to probably be able to kill off Bond just because he had ignites on him. I just knew it. But Bond does have the rupture effect in his favor. It's just that he has no HP boosting unit right now, but himself. And I decreased some of his damage by, what, 20%? He didn't force revive. Yeah, now he forced revive. I'm going to say, he didn't force revive on us, boys. So, we're still in the clear. So, we're going to throw up a shield on him again. And I'm going to try to bring back my HP on Merlin. So, we just do that. Throw up a shield. And as long as we got Goddess of the Live, we'll be able to um, stun him whenever we can. So now he has Purgatory Bomb by himself. I guess it's going to probably be the last match just because I don't want this video to be too long. Yeah, this man, he instantly disconnected after that. <laughs> My man said, yo, he started punching his freaking computer. He said, his mom was like, what's going on here? He over there. Shut up, mom. Man's upset, mad upset right now. Yeah, GG. <laughs> Maybe I, I'll try to do one more match. Maybe I'll try to do one more. Okay, so what is this team? Is this just like um a blue kill thunder nuking type of team or something like that? So what I, what I do? Just what? Go for his kill thunder and just nuke him? So all he has is defense. So what? what I just do this and go after guilt thunder? Because Gil Thunder is not tanky at all. 
He's really not that tanky. All I need is a few more crits. Oh my god, I wouldn't miss the crit. Like, all I need was another crit. <laughs> he would have been done for. Uh, maybe I'll be able to kill him off right here. Uh, Melio is going to go for a great attack. Okay. Well, I'm definitely not worried about that then. Okay, so he just does that, which I can be honest. Uh, I'm not really worried about that just because I can go for a goddess of his shield. I could decrease his damage as well, but I need to get rid of his guilt thunder as soon as possible. Because Tarmio and Nukimi, it's kind of, you know, it's something I don't want to happen to me. So I'll just do that. I don't know what he has in the back. Oh, Zeldris. Yeah, that's normal. Zeldris. And once he does this with, um,. His Meliodas, we're just going to attack him with um, Merlin. Yeah, you couldn't break the shield, so you don't get the sever ults. Which means you won't be able to crit. Sucks for you. You would almost, you would have killed, too. You would have did some serious damage. If only you crit. Only you crit. Only you crit, though. Too bad we don't get prizes for almost. Um... I guess I'll go for you. And um, let's go all in on him. Let's make sure we get rid of Tarmio instantly. Oh my god. We just did this man so dirty. Hopefully you had a silver card. He didn't. Cool. So we still got an ultimate on two units. Unless. His Zell just gets his um, AOE card. He's already lost. Because he has to force a revive and take away Gage at the same time. I think he did use the silver card. Yep, he did. Um, we do have a sun card. He still can't kill him. Go through. Oh my god. Yo, we did his men dirty, bro. Um, but thanks for the last win, man. But yeah. Using Gother or a village Gother was actually pretty much fun. You know, he's a top tier waifu. So, you know. We had to showcase this guy. Um, I did have a chance to use my gold um, debuff, which restricts the ultimate move effect. On a perk day bond, that was 6 out of 6. And um, he was still able to nuke guys. Um, I don't know. I didn't remember like one of these um, videos where I had, had it so I, I restricted. Um, I didn't try to restrict perk day bond ultimate. And it didn't do anything for me. And then, oh man, it was like one thing. All right, wait, wait, skip, skip to that. All right, so it was pretty much fun using Village Gother. Um, I did have a chance to use um, the gold debuff on a person named Bond, who was 6 out of 6. And you didn't know the gold debuff card from Gother restricts ultimate moves effects. And the person named Bond was still able to nuke my entire team. Um, so for anybody who was ever, ever curious on if restricting a 6 out of 6 per se bond ultimate move effect will help you in the slightest um the answer is no it will not help you in the slightest per se bond will still be able to nuke you completely because it is a high um multiplier ultimate and it seems like it's still based on hp either way so you're still gonna get nuked i guess it only takes away the rupture effect maybe but i took a, i still took a lot of damage even with the 50 percent reduced in the damage he was still able to nuke me nuke me so um keep that in mind guys as well but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. You already know, boys. We had to showcase the top tier waifu, village gother, level 90, all that in PvP. Um, but yeah, guys, this is really guys, and I'm out. Peace. So we're going to disable your ultimate move effect. So once you get it, you're already over with. The only bad part about it is he has gold cards. Because then I would be able to get the reflect. Um, we got rid of his ultimate move effect and we decreased it by 50%. So he might potentially force a revive, but that's it. Um, oh, he has one more attack card as well. So he's going to force revive on somebody and then he attack with Twiggo, which is probably going to hit Gother, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But let's see how much damage we actually decrease from him. Bruh. The ultimate move effect thing does not work. Unless this guy was like 6 out of 6, bro. <laughs> that ultimate move effect does not work. This ultimate is still based on HP. I was literally hoping that <laughs> it would stop it. But no. 
Oh, he's six out of six. Yeah. I remember somebody told me like, yo, you should have just disabled his ultimate move effect. You know, you could have made him do less damage. And I'm like, he he was six out of six. It wouldn't do anything for me. And you guys can see right there. I disabled his ultimate move effect and decreased 50% of his damage. Still nuked me.